Can you explain to everyone why an indoor event like a big concert is more dangerous than maybe a sporting event, which is typically in the open air unless the dome is closed? We believe that open air settings are less likely to result in, in substantial transmission because you have the airflow, you have the wind, that and, and droplets will not be as heavily concentrated around people around you. Um, the other issue for concerts, of course, is people are singing and shouting and we have super spreader events that have occurred. There was a, a very well-described choir event in California, for example, where we believe that when someone has COVID-19, if they are singing or shouting, they're more likely to spread transmissible droplets to people around them. So let's look at this situation. So, you know, people are, are dying to get back to concerts and some actually are doing concerts, but in a more COVID way, which I think is a great, but, but people are saying, well, if you're saying you can play football and baseball and other sports in an open arena, why can't you have a concert in an open arena and just keep people spread apart? Would, would the air in the open arena of a concert, would that help concerts be safer? Or are you still saying not a good idea? So I, I, I'm not saying that it's okay to have 60,000 people packed into a football stadium. Not at all. I think people do believe that there are reasons to believe that in an open air setting, the risk is going to be lower than a closed venue, but it's still not zero risk. The more people you have packed around, the more shouting that's going on, the greater the risk of transmission is going to be. So there's no, this isn't a zero risk or 100% risk environment. This is a continuum of risk question. And how much risk are you willing to personally take in order to be entertained? So the takeaway for people when it comes to these types of events is that there's never going to be zero risk, correct? And you got to decide how much of a risk you're willing to take. That's correct. We can apply common sense and standard infection control measures like social distancing, wearing the mask, washing your hands. But the only no risk is not to go. We're talking about, you know, a year or two of disrupting our lives and for my own self, for my family, for my kids, I don't see any reason to take on risk when I can get entertainment at home until you get me a vaccine that I know is safe and effective. Thanks, Dr. Brad. As always, great information. Thank you, Dr. Ian. We're living in uncertain times. It's tough to keep up with the latest medical headlines. Panic about the market, panic about COVID. And how do those headlines impact you and your family? <laughs> On season 13 of The Doctors, we want to empower you physically. If I met them at dance, they would meet me at medicine. Man, I love that. Emotionally. If I can change my thoughts, I can change my feelings. And medically. He doesn't have his mask up, which is not a good thing. This is the million dollar question, maybe the trillion dollar question. This is so critical for people to hear. We're giving you the inside track on health and wellness so that you can get back to the life you deserve. It's time to take back your power. The Doctors, now more than ever, premieres September 21st.